Hello everyone, Amadorn here, and welcome back to the Century Craft server. I have been pretty busy over the last few days, and I have the interior done on the Visitor Center. Let's take a look. So we come in here, this is the starting uh, area of the Visitor Center. We've got a guest book here where people can sign their names and, and uh, say that, you know, that they've visited the area. Um, we have a book over here which tells a little bit about pandas. I essentially pulled this off of Wikipedia and uh, I put that in here. Um, we have a little air garden area over here where we're growing up some bamboo uh, so that uh, when somebody comes in here, they can pull some bamboo down and step out here to the veranda or the, the terrace. And, um, you know, maybe they'll get lucky and a pup uh, and a panda will come up and uh, they'll be able to uh, feed it some bamboo. Over here I got a little storage area where where um, this is basically my my working area. I could put uh, some stuff in here if I wanted to. Um, but right now I've got a bed in here and it is night outside so I'm going to sleep real quick. So in the greenhouse we've got uh, jungle leaves growing up over the sides and everywhere. Uh, we've got a couple of melons in here, we've got a jack-o'-lantern over there, and uh, I've got some flowers and some more bamboo growing up in here, you know, things that you can see, you got some flowers, got a couple of benches, um, and uh, this is just a, a nice little um, greenhouse that uh, allows you to have some light and some see some plants and then out here is another viewing area uh we got some benches here we got some potted plants and uh some tables and chairs and then you can kind of sit here and watch zombies burn apparently oh he died um but yeah you can uh check and see you know watch you got over there is going to be where the panda cave is going to be, and then here's their, their basically their pond where they can get water. And we'll get some more trees and bamboo planted around here um, to turn it into a proper panda garden. Now, across the path over here from the visitor center, I have laid down the foundations for what is essentially going to be a restaurant. Okay. I have a bunch of spruce, and so let's get started here. We go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I believe I come across, and we're gonna make a grid pattern here. Now, I do have this building at a slight angle. Um, I don't normally build diagonal buildings, and I wanted to do, try something a little bit different here. I don't know how well it'll work, um, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I want that there. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine right there. Okay, and then Right. It does come across there. And we went to come across here. And I think there. 
doing this grid on an angle is definitely um, takes a little bit of practice, I think. And since this is the first time, I'm just kind of winging it. We'll see how it looks once it's finished. Um, I believe we want to come across here. And then here. All right. Now when he's, is it night enough that I can get, there we go, you can sleep. <clears throat> and we have a friendly neighborhood zombie coming to visit. There we go. All right. So I want the front of this thing to be pretty much glass. So let's pull out some glass here. And we're going to put large glass windows along the front here. Um, let's go ahead and grab one of my silk touch pickaxes. For when I misclick just like that. There we go. And yeah, there. And there. Okay. Now I think I want to use jungle wood. So I still have quite a bit already in planks. I'm going to use jungle wood to basically make frames and stuff for the interior and for the to kind of mark out where the windows are going to go. All right, so we got our kitchen in here. Let's put a stair block there. I think I want a couple more. Um, I have already some stair blocks. Let's put a stair block here. A window. And do the same here. And we'll do that here. There we go. Just like that. And we should put full box there. And here. And then we need to finish our glass over here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Yeah, we're probably going to put some sort of better entrance on here. Um, I think birch doors would be interesting take here. Something a little different. There. And there. It is getting dark. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep here. And then I'm going to put a roof on this thing. And I shall be back. 
Okay, now that I have the roof on the building and I have the layout pretty well set up, it's time to start working on the interior. Um, I've put in some lanterns here and I did put on a kind of a front piece here. Um, and I think that works all right. So we uh, come in here and this is kind of the main area of the restaurant. It is gonna be a restaurant, I think I've pretty much decided. So uh, we're gonna need some chairs and I'm using spruce for the chairs. We'll do a table there. Um, we will do kind of a corner table here and a corner table here. And um, I think we'll do a small table here. And I think that's about all the room we're going to have. Um, let me get some uh, fences. Let's see. There we go. Now we'll put these fences down for the tables. There we go. And then I want some pressure plates. Pressure plates that we seem to do the best for tables, I think. Uh, let's go with 10. Uh, and we'll get those put down. There and there. All right. Now, this is kind of where. Um, orders are delivered and turned in, um, and then we got our kitchen back here. Uh, let's see, we may want to end up putting a fireplace in here. Um, it might actually be a good thing to, good reason to pull that out. Um, I would like a couple of potted plants. Um, Let's do spruce trap doors. And I will need some leaves. Uh, where are my leaves? There we go. Oak leaves. Yeah, we'll do jungle leaves. Okay. Where do we want those? Um, here I think is a good place. And put a trapdoor right there. Uh, here in this corner is a good place for some yellow leaves. There we go. And I think um, right here is another good spot. That'll require three trapdoors. There we go. It gives us a little bit of color in here, and I see one more right here. There. Perfect. I really like that. Okay, and you got your tables here. Um, I think we want some signs to see if we can do up the sides of our tables and chairs. There we go. 
And I did uh, put in some cobble and gravel on the floor here. Okay, so that one's not going to work because of the uh, trap door there. Um, I think that would be fine. Same thing there. And we don't need it there because it's uh, kind of protected by the wall. All right. Um, yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Um, okay. Here we go. So I think we've got some nice decoration in here. Tables and chairs. Okay, so now we need to set up our, basically our cooking area. Um, I would like, let's see, I'm going to want to put away some of this wood. So I got a bunch of it here. Um, I think I'm going to need some iron because I want to make a cauldron. There we go. There's a cauldron for us. I need a sink and um, I want a couple of smokers. Um, I have one here. And I wouldn't mind making another one. I think I need to make a furnace first. Yeah. That way we've got two smokers. Um, and some barrels. For cabinets and stuff. And maybe a spruce door. Go ahead and make a couple of spruce doors there. There we go. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Okay, a couple of smokers. Let's put a sink here in the corner. Um, and we got uh, barrels that we can use for cabinets. And let's have. Um, let's go ahead and make a crafting table to have in here. Uh, you never know when I might be working in the area and, and need to have a crafting table. Uh, a grindstone could be interesting because we can use the grindstone to kind of represent, you know, a piece of furniture. And I think we want a couple more barrels. Um, uh, does that, no, that doesn't work there. That works there. Okay. And then, um, spruce door here. Because then that becomes a cabinet. Okay. And we have spruce trap doors that we can put up there. And I need some more spruce trap doors. There we go. So it looks like those are actual cabinets. Um, I think we're going to want stone here because we're going to make that into our fireplace. And, um, and we'll need to go outside and kind of bring that. That should probably actually be cobblestone um, instead. And go up to there. There 
There we go. So we can kind of mark it up there. All right. There we go. Here's kind of our kitchen. I think that works perfect. Um, maybe put a pressure plate of some sort. Stone pressure plates. Okay. What can we do with that? Ah, there we go. So it looks like a kind of a chopping board or a work counter. Um, okay, maybe that isn't going to work. Uh, you know, maybe have it up there. Okay. There we go. And that is our kitchen. Um, let's finish off the fireplace. I will need a campfire. And I will need another spruce trapdoor. There we go. And I need the cobblestone to finish that off. And then we come up here. Um, where is that? I think that is right here. Yeah. And the fireplace, or the chit, or fire. Um, goes there, and then the trap doors go around. <clears throat> there we go, and there. And let's go ahead and cut that piece off there and there. Now we can put that right there. Okay. There we go. That is the roof. Um, get rid of that and get rid of that. Sleep again real quick. <clears throat> and there we have our Panda Garden restaurant. And we got a place in here to eat. We got our kitchen back here, and I think we're all set. Um, we can put some food back here. I got plenty of potatoes that can be cooked up, I think. And we got some uh, coal over here. And we've got a uh, skeleton who's decided he wants to be a jerk. And we got rid of him. <laughs> All right. And we'll go in here and we'll start putting in our coal in our potatoes and get those cooked up for our restaurant. All right, there we go, folks. All right, so there we have the Panda Gardens restaurant. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of arrows in me from that skeleton that kind of uh, found us. So I think we're all set here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and, and call the end of the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye.